on the x-axis is the number of parameters in a model. So as you get further to the right, the models get bigger. And each of these points is some model that was trained. On the y-axis is the training loss. So, you know, how well did the model do? Lower is better. Lower loss means you got a better model. So what I want you to do is take a look, for example, look at that point that says 3B or 3 billion parameters on the x-axis and kind of trace your way upwards, look vertically upwards. You'll see how for that same model size, you can get a lot of different losses, anywhere from a very high loss to a very low loss. The difference here is how much budget you spent. So each of these different colors, each of these different curves is a different budget. Those numbers in that, in that legend of the plot are different budgets in terms of flops, anywhere from 6E18, that's the uppermost curve, to 3E21, which is almost three orders of magnitude more compute. And you can see, for example, again, tracing that 3 billion parameter model, looking at that vertical line up and down, you can see that as you increase the budget from you know, the top curve where it overlaps, which is 6E19, um, I believe, or yeah, 6E19, all the way down to that bottom curve, you're getting better and better loss as you increase your budget. That makes sense, right? You spend more. And when I say increase your budget, what's happening? You've got a fixed sized model. So when you increase the budget, you're training on more data. So one way to think about this is if you look up and down any one of those vertical lines, you're looking at that 3 billion parameter model trained on more and more and more data.